you want to know the best way to make a time-lapse video from photos? You're about to discover how. Hi, I'm Greg M, and in this video I'll show you how to create a time-lapse video in minutes. Let's get started. I'm going to create this video in DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing we'll need to do is uh, download the software. This is a DaVinci Resolve website. I'll leave a download link to, uh, or a link to the page in the description. So we need to scroll down to the bottom of this page and find the download link. Now there is a paid version of this, but the free version will do pretty much everything you'll need to do. Okay, so it's available for Mac, Windows and Linux. And somewhere here is uh, a download. So you can hit the, uh, the free version here. There's a paid version, as I said, download. And from there you can select uh, the, the operating system you're using. When you've downloaded and, and installed DaVinci Resolve, the next thing you want to do is open it up. When you do, you'll come to this window, which is the new project window. You want to select a new project, click on there, and then click open. That takes you to the editor. First thing I want to point out is these controls at the bottom. Um, this is your workflow, and you'll, they'll become clearer as we go through. Right now we're in the edit uh, window, and we're going to import our media from there. Now you're going to want to have your photos in a separate folder somewhere on your computer. In this folder I've got about 450 photos taken uh, on my GoPro. They were taken over a period of about 40 minutes at 5 second intervals. So we're just going to uh, load those into DaVinci Resolve. They're in this folder here. I'm going to drag it across to the media pool. Wait just a second or two, there it is. And we're going to drag that down into our timeline. And there you have it. That's your time lapse video. This will be a little bit choppy, but um, the video is there and we'll just make a few changes before we export it. And the first thing I'm going to do is click on it so it's highlighted, go over to Inspector and zoom in. Oop, not out, zoom in. And we'll go about there. I'm just going to adjust the pitch a little bit, which will take out some of the distortion from the wide angle lens. Whoops, too far. And I'm going to have to make it a little bit bigger. And that should work fine. The next thing we're going to do is just uh, brighten it up a little bit. I'm going to go down here to colour. And we'll just, I won't do a proper colour edit. We'll just um, throw a bit more light into it to make it more interesting. And that should do. I'll go back to edit. And yeah, it looks a little brighter. Okay. Now I'll just take out that space before the before the video and we can now export it. We go down here to the deliver section. Click on that. And now we're ready to export. We need to give it a name. I'll just give it uh, time lapse. One location, we'll put it on my desktop. Need to add it to the render queue. And then we need to go over to here and start the render. Now this is going to take a few minutes. I'll pause this video right now and uh, come back to you when it's uh, downloaded. Okay, back again. We're uh, almost finished rendering. We're at 98%, 99. And we're done. Okay, let's just uh, have a look at this video. Here's a video on our desktop. Let's uh, click on that and open it up and have a look. 
All right, that looks fine. But I just want to make a couple of quick changes to it. Close that, we'll go back into DaVinci Resolve. And remember when we left off, we were in the Deliver section. We need to go, need to go back to Edit. I'm going to delete this off the timeline, so I'm going to click on it to highlight it and uh, hit Delete. Now I'm going to drag in the, the video to our media section. That's a video we just created. I'm going to drag that video down to the timeline. Next thing I want to do is uh, just slow, the, slow it down a little bit. So I'm going to right click there. I'm going to go up to change clip speed. Click on that. And from here I want to just uh, click and drag to change the clip speed. Oops, I want to go the other way. Yeah, so you can see it, change it down to about 65%, 64% should work well. Click on change, and I just need to cancel this highlighter for just a second because I can't do something with that activated. I need to drag this out, click, hold and drag there, and that'll make the clip a little slower, which will look more effective. Next thing I want to do is uh, add some sound to it. Drag this sound clip in. Oops. Now I'm going to cut that at the end. Cut it there. Click on that section and d hit delete. That'll remove that tail. Now I want to fade the sound out at the end and I want to fade the sound in at the start and I need to change that audio because it's going to be far too loud let's see how that works still a bit too loud I'll just pull that back a bit That sounds good. I'm just going to go back to deliver. And I'm going to call this time lapse 2 because we've already got a time lapse 1. Back to the desktop, add it to the render queue, and start render. Again, I'll pause the video for a second here while this is rendering, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back again. It's at 94%. We're nearly finished. And it's done. So we'll minimize that and go back to our desktop. And there's our time lapse 2 video. Let's see how that works out. So that's the best and easiest way to make a time-lapse video with photos. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I also encourage you to leave a comment. I'm Greg M, thanks for watching and have a good one.